Hey what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Chess Commands, a plugin that allows you to set up custom GUIs on your server in a way where you can type a certain command and a custom GUI will come up. So today we're going to show you an example and we're going to show you how to create one. So if I do slash warp on my server, a little custom GUI menu will come up of all the warps. If I click one it'll take me to that specific location so let's show you how this is done now if I actually go to my FTP go to my plugins and then go to chess commands folder I want to go in the menu section and I will see the menus if I were to type slash towns hi there zombie oops typed it wrong towns as you can see a custom town GUI will come up and if I were to type slash servers a custom server GUI will come up now how do you do this well let's take a look at the warps.yml if you actually look, there is a place to put the name of the GUI. That'll actually appear. Here, let me bring up the warp one. Uh, the realms, realms warps, which as you can see are up here. Um, how many rows you want it to have, in this case, two. Uh, the command that players will type that'll bring up the GUI. In this case, I put warp and warps. Uh, the sound that you want it to play, you can set it up with a custom sound if you like. And if you want to set it up with a certain item, a join item, then you could use this section. Um, but I just like to go with commands. So as you can see, um, are all of these. These are each individual item or place to warp at in this case. So we have like Savannah. You always want to set the position. So in this case, it would be 8 over on the Y axis, which the Y is the first one, the first row. And then the X is this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It goes from 1 to 9. Uh, and the same can go for the Y axis. You, if you had more than one, so in this case I have two rows, it can be the second row. And if you were to do five rows, it would be the, th the fifth one. So in this case, I'm going to show you a quick example of editing that. I'm going to change it to three rows. And I'm going to add an item real quick. So let me just copy this. We're going to paste it, and let's make it something simple. We're going to call it YouTube in this case. We're going to set the command that we want it to run. Uh, let's let's just set a command in game real quick. So let me go over. Let me do slash uh, game mode one. That'll put us in creative mode. And let me just set a warp. Set warp YouTube. Now, if we actually set the warp, and now we're going to have it type slash warp YouTube. Uh, the name we're going to call it is something simple like at for you at f2 and we're going to change the lower to just be one line and we're going to do it in a and c and we're going to say hello youtube now we're going to change the position to one on the x-axis and three on the y uh, that'll put it on the third row down on the first part of that line now if we simply type slash cc reload and type slash warp, as you can see a new one's going to come up. It's going to come up as TNT because I forgot to change the item ID. Uh, but really you could set it to anything. Uh, for fun, let's set it to dirt uh, slash cc reload warp. As you can see it'll be a block of dirt that says YouTube and hello and it'll warp us. Let's go a little bit away and then type it. Now if we click it, see it'll bring us to that spot every time. Now I'm going to show you a few of the other ones I set up, uh, the server one. This plugin is compatible with Bungie Cord. If you want to go to a specific server when you click it, um, in this case you'd set it up like this, uh, server colon space creative, creative being the server's name. Uh, unfortunately you can't set it up to go on slash server. Uh, it's overrided by Bungie Cord. So I set it to do slash servers to bring up the GUI. And as you can see, it'll take you to the creative server. I'm not going to display that because the creative server does it doesn't have chess commands, so none of this will work. Um, but as you can see, I do have this set up. Uh, I set it up with glass panes to give it so it's not so empty. Um, so you can do that. Um, and in the description below, I will provide a little example uh, chess commands thing. So basically, if you want to set it up first, the first thing you're going to do to set it up is you're going to create a new file and you're going to call it whatever you want the GUI to be. So let's do something like youtube.yml and we're just going to create that. Now what I like to do, it's 
pretty simple. I'm just going to go into one of my old menus. I'm going to select it and just copy and paste it in. So we'll do that. We'll exit out. Go into the YouTube.yml and paste it. So now it's basically set up. The first thing we would do is set up the name. So I just want it to be a really simple name. Uh, we'll do the same the same name as normal at four and uh, two. So YouTube, and we just want it to. Have, we'll give it two rows just to see how to do it. The name, the commands you want it to run. Whenever you run that certain command, it'll bring it up. So let's do slash YouTube colon the thing. Um, you and then we'll do tube. So if anyone types slash YouTube slash you or slash tube, it'll basically bring up this menu. Uh, auto refresh every five seconds. Uh, we'll just leave the sound the same. We don't want to have a certain item. Now let's change the first the item. This will appear on three one, and we'll do we'll have it run the command slash you warp YouTube. Uh, we won't change anything there. Uh, in the name, we'll give it YouTube or something simple. Let's give it and green. We'll give it uh, leave a like because you should leave a like if you enjoy this video and it helped you out. And we'll give it a simple lore of hello. And uh, that's basically it. I'm not going to change anything else. It's really that simple. Um, you can also do it here. Let me just set up a simple one. Eco give. Uh, let me see if I can remember real quick. Because it's been a while, I use this plugin quite a lot. Um, but you can set it up to give certain players items and stuff. Um, so let me pause the video and check real quick. Yeah, so I was able to find it out. It's actually this. So, player. And we wanted to give them 500 whenever they click it. Let's change the name to something like um, N9 Monies. The lore, I, I just leave it blank. It doesn't really matter. We'll just leave. We'll put five hundred dollars, and the item we want it to be stone, because it's just simple, simple that way, and that'll be on one one. Uh, we can rename this to money. This is basically just a name. It doesn't. This doesn't matter. Uh, the name is real. This is what shows up. This is really more of just a personal thing. Like if you want to keep it organized in your file, I'm gonna hit save. And I'm going to type slash cc reload. All right, now you're going to need to know this. Uh, if you want players to be able to open it, you have to give them this uh, permission: chess commands dot open dot file name dot yml. So in this case, the file is called YouTube dot yml. So you would give them chess commands dot open dot YouTube dot yml. Uh, that's simple. Once they have that permission, they'll be able to type slash YouTube. It'll open a GUI. And if you click this, it will give you five hundred dollars. And uh, we'll also we can also try this test you and slash two. It'll basically come up. And if we wanted to click this, it says leave a like, hello. Uh, it works us to YouTube. So guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. I think Chess Commands is a great plugin for hub servers and everything else alike. If you enjoy custom GUIs and you want to set them up on your server, you really can do them for anything. They're compatible with Townie, compatible with Factions, compatible with any kind of plugin, every command that you can think of. If you have it installed on your server, it'll likely run that command. So if you enjoyed this, as I said before, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you actually like my content, subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day.